In today's video, we talk about death, engagements, flirting, and pregnancy. Are you ready? Hey, what's up? How are you? Hopefully you've been doing great. Today is Wednesday, so that means a dev chat has been made public. Let's chat about that. First and foremost, I want to make sure everyone knows that this isn't about confirming things. Elements and features might change, be improved, or be removed altogether. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Paralives news, go to their website, social media accounts, or visit their Patreon. I've linked that all in the description, as well as my own social media accounts, if you want to give me a follow. Let's get to the good good. To begin, we're going to go over the pair of related questions and ideas and answers. Oh, look who it is. It's a me. I wanted to know if paras could independently propose to others, like without the player making it happen. Jeremy replied that they're not completely sure how it would work, but for important life events, player action will be required. Then I asked if we could have honeymoons, even if they were a rabbit hole. I'm pretty sure in Sims 2 that was something you could do and a limo would come to the household and pick up the newlyweds. This is something that the team will consider once I start working on live mode. Ernest wanted to know about pregnancy and what the steps for that will be like. Since pregnancies are going to happen rather quickly as they do in most life simulation games, they're not sure if there will be time for a special gameplay. Personally, I would love it if they could do at least one ultrasound. Maybe the parents-to-be could begin nesting and want to have their nursery set up. If they could find out the gender, that would also be so nice. Setting a gender preference for paras makes sense and will be considered. I like the fact that they don't want too many autonomous flirty interactions. I agree that it should be left to the player, but that would take away from having a para come up and flirt with yours. Like those interactions can be a nice little exchange every once in a while. However, if you flirt with a gay para, then they should be able to reject your para because that's just not how they roll. There's a lot that goes into this, that's for sure. I'm pretty curious how it will be in the final game. Also, I love the crush system and the attraction system in Sims 2, so I'd be pretty happy if they implemented something like this into Paralives. There have been some child prototypes made. That means we're a step closer to seeing Sebastian's kid. Each townie having a unique backstory sounds too good to me. I adore that each of them will have a custom personality and skill set. That sounds amazing! Houses that reflect Para's personality? Yes, please! Pacifiers for babies have been confirmed! Yay! Woot, woot. Gameplay! Let's talk about gameplay! It would be incredible if we could pick out the book covers, titles, and descriptions for books our Para's write. I would love that. Events can be cool, especially if the player can choose to opt out of them. I think it's an interesting way to add surprise elements to the gameplay. Lot traits could be an awesome way to include something like this, but it still lets the player choose whether or not it'll happen to them. I hope that teens can drive. Maybe once they become teenagers, you can get them to study for a learning permit, sort of like the G1 license in Ontario. Then they can go off and actually take the test. If the pair has studied enough, they pass. Or maybe they didn't study enough, so they fail. If they pass, then they could drive with an adult para in the car. Eventually, they could go take another test, and if they pass that one, they can drive alone. The second test could be based on how much actual driving they've done since getting their learner's permit. How will modding work? How much will modders be able to do? Well, there are definitely things that the devs don't want modders to change. If you wanted to mod the character model, then you'll be happy to know that you will be able to. You can also mod your own rig, animations, and body deformations, aka the body features. It's good to keep in mind though that some animations might not work with your newly created model if the model is too different from the base game one. How will death be managed in the game? We know there won't be a grim reaper or ghosts. So what's going to happen? This is something we're still going to have to wait to find out more about. I'm not a fan of whims. I rarely look at them, or use them, or do them. On the other hand, I love the wants and fears from Sims 2. I utilize that feature all the time. I'm hoping that something like this can make an appearance in Paralives. I love the idea of hopes and dreams that could be fulfilled and contributes to our larger life dream. I cannot wait to hear more about this. 
We got two build questions. I love building apartments in Sims 4, although it's annoying when I want several people to live in my apartments. Like, do I make it a dorm? Do I get roommates and just lock the doors accordingly? Do I pretend like there's other families living next door? Do I play multiple families and just be fine with them ignoring households, boundaries, and apartments? I would love to be able to create an apartment in Paralives and be able to move households into the various units. Even if that means I have to wait after the initial launch for this sort of gameplay, it would totally be worth it. Windy? I don't know what you mean. Jokes. It's been very windy outside of most of the Paralabs videos, which I'm fine with. It's cool. It's a windy world. What can I say? Will decor items move in the wind, or is that movement only for things like trees? You'll be happy to know that decor items will probably sway in the wind. Nevertheless, we might not be able to attach items to trees. Lastly, do you pronounce it live mode or live mode? I say live mode. Tell me what you say. I hope all of y'all party people know how awesome you are. Keep being you. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit that like button, slap that subscribe, and tip tap your keyboard and write up a comment for me to respond to. All of the support means a ton to me. Thanks again and I'll talk to you pretty soon. Bye!